Hi. So today I'm going to talk about uh, career in finance after uh, doing engineering. Um, if you are from India, this will be an interesting video for you. Uh, if you're not from India, uh, probably less relevant, but um, yeah, still you may find it useful, right? In India, engineering is one of the most popular uh, academic field where many, many students uh, want to go into, right? But many of them are simply not interested in, in core engineering and they want to find career opportunity elsewhere. And finance is one such field where I've seen many engineering uh, graduates working. Right, so I'm going to share my own uh, experience of working with, uh, you know, people who have come from engineering background, but, uh, you know, they were working in the field of finance. Um, and how you as, as, as an engineer, uh, as somebody who doesn't have interest in engineering um, and wants to explore uh, a career outside of core engineering, I'd like to tell you as to how you can, you know, get started with uh, with the field of finance and how we can make a career in the field of finance such a vast field right you could uh, be lost actually without uh, you know without going through the proper channels it, it would be difficult for you to actually find a place uh, in such a you know vast world uh, of finance right it's also important to know where you can contribute the best and where you can sort of use your technical skills the best so that's perhaps the most important thing to know Right. So when I was a student, right, uh, you know, 15 years back, undergrad student, um, uh, most engineering graduates, uh, those who are interested to go into finance, they used to go for MBA finance. MBA finance was uh, very sought after uh, postgraduate degree for many engineers. But things changed a lot, actually. You know, I've seen that, you know, the demand for MBA finance graduate is just, uh, you know, in, in one pocket right only in investment banking more front office role you need mba in finance uh, but even there also you don't actually need that sort of uh, a degree but uh, surely you have that advantage of having an mba but other than that actually in most areas of finance you don't need mba finance right uh, and i've seen many engineering graduates without having mba finance degree working in different fields uh, of, of finance but one interesting thing I uh, realize is that this knowledge of uh, or this awareness of, you know, uh, being, uh, you know, being good enough to work in the field of finance, despite not having a degree in finance, is not there in many engineering graduates in India, except the ones who come from, you know, you know, the IITs. Um, you know, I have seen that many gradu IIT graduates, they simply don't work in the field of engineering. They move out of it. Some of them go into coding and IT tech jobs, but not everybody is even good at coding in IIT. Uh, I have seen many IIT graduates simply don't like coding. They don't like any technical work. Uh, they're, they're quite smart, but uh, simply not smart uh, in, uh, in more technical areas, uh, which, is, which is fine. Uh, and they are the one actually who explore career outside of, uh, you know, the more technical side of things like, you know, either doing coding or working in a factory, right? Many of them have moved to work in the field of finance. When I worked for uh, a finance company, you know, I, I worked with uh, many engineering graduates from IIT Madras, people having chemical engineering, people having degree in civil engineering, mechanical engineering, they're working in and an nbfc along alongside me and that was uh, surprising to me initially simply because i thought uh, what are the guys doing here but they were actually uh, yeah they were learning on the job they're doing quite okay i think they have gone on to do very very well in their career but this awareness is only there in the iits uh, or maybe in some nits but not beyond that right i haven't seen many engineering graduates from state engineering colleges uh, you know, moving to the field of finance uh, without pursuing an MBA finance, right? I've seen people having MBA finance, uh, you know, people having a degree from state engineering colleges or private engineering colleges, 
and then they later on do MBA finance and then they start working in the field of finance, but not directly, right? That trend has changed quite a bit in the last uh, maybe a uh, couple of years. I've seen many engineering graduates directly moving to the field of finance. Many of you actually have reached out to me for career guidance, right? I've seen many of them are engineers and they want to pursue a career in the field of uh, finance. I'm also trying to actually um, spread the knowledge about how you can, you know, sort of build a career in the field of finance, despite not having a degree uh, or any qualification, uh, formal qualification in the field of uh, finance. It's quite possible actually, right? Um, and don't worry about the pedigree of the of the university you come from. Uh, it ma actually in India it matters a bit, but uh, yeah, after you work for a few years, nobody really cares, right? So um, you know, as long as you have interest, I think it it should go uh, ahead with uh, with you know full energy, and 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 I'm sure you will do well. Right, so so what's the roadmap, right? How do you approach? Uh, well, the first thing is to ask yourself, what do you want to do with finance, right? You must have some interest in the field of finance, right? More recently, you know, I see young people uh, becoming very interested in the field of finance because they think that it is where they can make uh, a lot of money in a very short time. Uh, that is not entirely true. Actually, finance is no doubt a very lucrative career, uh, any finance you do, right? Uh, you know, it's not just uh, trading or investment banking that is uh, lucrative. I think any career in finance is lucrative, but uh, you must have interest there, right? Otherwise, you will not do well and probably you will be burnt out and you will leave the, leave the field. So it's very important to ask yourself whether you have interest uh, in this field or not. And if you have interest and then, you know, start exploring as to how we can get into the field. Getting your first job is always a big challenge. And later on, um, you know, you will have, uh, you know, knowledge as to where to go and, and which company to choose and, and which field best suit, uh, suits you. But getting the first job is always a big challenge. I think while you, you are in, in college, right, that's the time to explore, to do internship, to do some part time courses, uh, learn some of the things from, you know, different blogs and, and, you know, YouTube videos. But, you know, try to engage in this field, right? Um, connect with as many people as possible on LinkedIn from this particular field. If you have interest in the field of finance, just, you know, keep on adding people from this field they post uh, you know number of things and that will come on your feed and you will learn uh, quite a bit from there right uh, not very structured way um, but that's the best you can do right if you really want to do learn something in a very structured way then you know do a course learn some uh, you know do some part time courses uh, there are many available um, you don't you don't have to go for very expensive courses start with the you know more uh, cheaper ones uh, but if you are really keen on, then you could also go for, for example, certifications like FRM and all. Uh, many engineering graduates nowadays are writing FRM. So I recommend, uh, you know, writing FRM. Uh, that's one good way of introducing yourself to, to this field. It costs you around a lakh rupee, I think. Um, but, you know, if you still cannot afford a one lakh rupee, for a certification, don't have to go for that. You can, you know, even find certifications under 10,000 rupees uh, and, and uh, get started with uh, doing some of them. You know, it could be even, you know, starting some certification from NISM. I think the certifications are pretty cheap. You can start from there. Um, start learning as much as possible. Uh, connect with people. Do intensive. I think that's perhaps the most important thing. If you uh, have, uh, you know, skills in both, right, in technical area, you are good in programming, but you also have interest in finance, that's a sweet spot, right? You can make good money if you have both skills. You have skills in finance, interest in finance, but you also technical good, you have good mathematics knowledge, you have good knowledge of coding. Then you can work in, in you know, in, in quantitative finance, you can work in the risks management side and you can make quite decent money. You can make the best use of uh, best, uh, best of uh, both worlds, right? Uh, you know, you are more of a technical guy, but working in the field of finance. But even though you, even without having interest in the field of uh, in, in the technical fields, you can you can still make a career in the field of finance. Um, I know people from engineering background working in audit working in uh, risk management, working in compliance, 
uh, working in front office, working in cells, working in uh, control units, in those places, right? Th these are some of these areas of finance. I spoke about there are many engineering graduates who are working in trading also, right? If you have interest in trading, that is also one really good career choice. Many people are working in equity research and in you know, wealth management in you know, those places. You really don't have to, you know, spend two years of your time, you know, spend 20 lakhs rupees or even more to get an MBA, probably not from the best of the university. Uh, that's the opportunity cost is quite, quite high, actually. Right. So if you have an engineering degree, that's good enough to get started in many areas of finance. Of course, there are areas where you cannot simply go into, right? For instance, you may not be able to get a job as a front office investment banker in Goldman Sachs right after doing a BTEC, right? Even that's very difficult for IIT graduates, let alone graduates from other universities. But you can certainly work uh, in data analytics side or in quantitative research side, you know, or you can work in the compliance risk side. I see many graduates, engineering graduates working in these fields uh, in banks, and and different types of banks also insurance companies right uh, finance is a very broad field there is uh, something for everyone here so you if you are more technically sound there are many areas to explore if it was less technical but you are really good at managing things uh, you can uh, manage operations plenty of opportunities if you're a good product project manager product manager that kind of a uh, guy you will have plenty of opportunities if you are uh, someone who is a very good sales guy finance is one of the best place to be in if you are a really uh, amazing sales guy so yeah you can also work in marketing and and other places so uh, within finance by the way um so that's the way to go about it right to summarize uh, just do your research online do some on online courses part time courses preferably the you know the cheap ones um and connect with people on linkedin or through other mediums uh, find a mentor if possible talk to people right uh, get uh, you know opportunity to work actually either do some side projects or do internship internships is by far the best way to learn uh, or get into any field so get a field of the job feel of the field by doing some work uh, for some company even though it is unpaid internship go for it don't worry about the money part uh, and just do it right don't worry about the consequences you know uh, finance is once such field that you have experience couple of years you could always move to other fields without much worries so that is one thing to note and uh, and if it is not for you if you don't like it just quit do something else right it's uh, not that difficult uh, to you know move from finance to other fields in fact the other way around is, is somewhat more difficult um, right so what I, the, the, why I wanted to make this video is that I see that this awareness is only there in more elite technical universities in India but not in in the lesser known uh, the less known uh, universities uh, state universities uh, state technical universities uh, in India or the private universities but I think it's 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 a one field where you know there's so much of opportunity, so many lucrative jobs. So why not? Why only IIT grads only enjoy uh, you know jobs in this field? Um, why not someone from Valor Institute of Technology, someone from um, SRM, someone from KIIT, someone from you know Delhi University, Technic Delhi Technical University, or or Jadapur University, I don't know, many of the state universities and, and those places, why not? You, you could also make a career in finance. If I'm not too keen on making a career in, in technical, uh, you know, in, in engineering or core technical uh, areas, right? If you are interested, then there's no point moving to finance. So I won't, disc I won't encourage you to f make a career in finance if you already have strong align, uh, strong interest in, in core technical engineering area then I think it's better to go with that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or you could also reach out to me uh, or WhatsApp email. Thanks, guys.